Hi, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be going over how you can troubleshoot some of the more common errors in Conga Composer and how you can utilize the tools and resources within the Conga community to do so. First, we're going to go ahead and navigate over to the Conga community. This link can be found in the description of this video. Starting on the homepage of the Conga community site, you see we have a few different tabs at the top where you can learn about the different resources we have within the community. Today, I want to point your direction to the support tab where you can see we have a tab for knowledge based articles, getting help through our customer success team as well as opening a case through our Conga support team. For most errors you'll encounter while using our Conga products, I recommend going over to our knowledge base articles, which have step-by-step -step instructions on how you can solve those errors. The first error I wanna draw your attention to today is the Conga Composer 1013 error that can be found in the Conga Composer setup. This 1013 error can happen when you need to refresh the Composer token, or when you need to unclick the click check settings in the session settings in, in Salesforce. So like I said before, let's go ahead and copy this error message. Go ahead and go back to the Conga community and let's just throw it in the search bar here. You'll see we're recommended a few different articles. Let's click the first one. On this knowledge base article, you'll see we have the title, any root causes. But we'll also have a step-by-step -step instructions on how you can disable those clickjack protections I mentioned earlier. If we navigate back to my dev environment, we'll, we'll go to system setup. We'll search session settings in the quick find. We'll scroll to clickjack protection where you can see I have both of those checkbox unchecked, and that is why I do not receive the error in Conga Composer setup. The second error I'd like to draw your attention to is the Composer 9999 error. This error can take place within Conga Composer setup, and for the similar reason is when you need to, this error takes place within Conga Composer setup and happens when you need to refresh your Salesforce token. So let's do the same thing here. Let's go ahead and copy this error code. Let's go ahead and go back to our Conga community page. We'll click the search bar back here again, paste our error code, and you'll see we're presented with a couple different articles again. I'm gonna click the second one here. That looks like the one I'm, I'm, I need. And here we have again, some step-by-step -step instructions as well as the resolution states to update the Salesforce token within the Conga Composer setup menu. So you could follow these step-by-step -step instructions to do so, and I'll go ahead and do so in my dev environment now. So we're gonna go to Conga Solutions Let's go ahead and launch any of these solutions here. I'll just launch this top five. We'll press launch composer. You wanna make sure your button is out of background mode, which means you're not using a DS7 parameter or else you will not be able to get to this menu. Once you're on this menu, you're gonna to wanna to click tools and settings, setup. And here you'll see to update the Salesforce token, I currently have a valid token, which is why I'm not receiving the error. You will most likely have invalid and you wanna click update. Clicking update never hurts, allow. And you'll see we get a successful message that the Salesforce refresh token has been saved and, and refreshed. And that is how you resolve the 9999 error in Composer setup. Next, we're going to be discussing how we can use the community to troubleshoot template related issues while using Conga Composer. And let's navigate to a different solution and we'll open our generate account brief solution here. And let's press launch Composer. I've got an account brief template here, but I've also got an account brief template that I've been working on making changes with. So let's go ahead and give that a test and see what happens. You'll see we get an operations canceled error. While these four words are not very descriptive as an error message, it can help you locate the root cause of the error. So when I receive this error message when testing with a new template, I like to test with a blank Word document. When testing with a blank Word doc document will allow you to know if the issue lies within the template itself or within the Conga solution button syntax. So we'll go ahead and merge that blank test document I have. And you'll see this time we get a successful output. This tells us that the issue is not with the solution, but with the template we just tested previously. So let's look up that error message back in the Kong community as we did previously. We'll navigate back to the community, search bar, and operation is canceled. All right, so we have a couple articles here. We'll click on the first one. First one seems to be dealing with time zones. We know from our test that we're dealing with a template issue and not a time zone issue. So let's click on the second link. And you'll see here this error message is related to an issue with the data in the template or in the output. And this is the article we'll look, we're looking for. Scrolling through the article, you'll see we have some steps on how you can troubleshoot your document. You wanna take it out of background mode, download the document, and take a look at the table end and table starts. That typically can be a root cause of the issue. You'll also wanna take a look at any if statements and make sure that they don't contain any quote marks. And then you'll also wanna take a look at those rich text fields. We recommend testing without the rich text fields and seeing if those are the root cause of the error as well. So using this document, let's go and, let's go ahead and review my template. Just by quick scroll, you'll see that there's nothing that stands out to the eye. 
And one of the first things I like to do in troubleshooting the document is taking a look at how many table start and table ends are on the document. Here you'll see we have 13 table ends, which means we should have 13 table starts. You'll see we have 12 table starts here. This means that we're missing a table start in one of the areas. So let's go ahead and go to the very last table end and see if that has a table start there. Table end with no table start. So let's go ahead and add a table start here and see if that is what caused the issue. I'm just gonna paste this at the front of the document, change the end to start. Let's click save and give that a test. We'll navigate back to our solution, select a file. Let's merge and download and see if we get a different result. Excellent. This time we get an output document without an error message. So let's go and open that document and see what we get. Then the document here, you'll see we have successful merge fields with successful table start and table end, just as we had in our template. While we recommend this handful of steps to troubleshoot most template issues, we do understand that templates are unique to the customer and their environment. Should you need further assistance, we do recommend you open a case. For the last error, let's do part two of operations is canceled and show how it can show up in different ways outside of just a template issue. For this, we're gonna wanna go back to our solution and let's launch the same template that we knew is working previously. We're gonna wanna launch Composer again. And we'll go and select file and let's test with that same template we just troubleshot to get working again. Here, you'll see we received the operation was canceled, even though we just reviewed this template and saw it was working previously. If it's not a template issue and it's not a button syntax issue, then what could the issue be? Let's copy and paste this error message back in the Conga community and see what we get. Clicking on the first link here, when one of your users is assigned to one of these time zones, it will throw the operation was canceled error, even though the template is correct. Let's go take a look at that user and see what time zone they're assigned to. Navigate into the user and Salesforce setup, you'll see that this user is on the Eastern Daylight Time, American Louisville. If we take a look at that list there, is that on this list? It is. You'll see America Louisville is on that list. To resolve, we're going to want to go back in, press edit, scroll down to time zones, and let's just give her a time zone similar to that time zone, but is one that is not bugged. I will give her the New York time zone. We'll go and check to make sure New York isn't on there. All right. We can click save now. After updating the time zone, let's go and test that same Conga solution again. Navigate back to Conga solutions, open the most recently opened solution. Let's launch Composer. We're gonna test with that same template that we know was working previously. And voila, here you'll see we have a downloaded template. If we go and open that template, you'll see we have the same output as we did earlier without the operations canceled error. These are just a few skills you can add to your repertoire as you encounter some of the more common Conga Composer errors in your environment. As always, should you need further assistance, we recommend opening a case with our Conga support team so we can get your questions answered as soon as possible. Thanks.